Yeah. You get a minute. That's oh it. yeah. Oh, absolutely. And the sunny skies. What's not to love about this beautiful afternoon we're having and also tomorrow it gets even better. And it's all thanks to this high pressure system you see located just to our southeast. That high pressure system is going to continue to influence the good weather for us through tomorrow, keeping highs that are still way above average for this time of year. We should be mostly in the lower 50s and we're reaching 60 degrees this afternoon in some spots. We'll do so again tomorrow. But these two systems are the rainmakers we're tracking throughout the weekend. We've got a cold front right off to our northwest, a low pressure system located over Florida. That's been providing heavy rain for Florida, by the way. And in a good way, we are getting some showers, but we're not getting excessive rain. For now, I do have to say conditions will remain quiet throughout the evening, tomorrow, out there it's bright temperatures 56 in Boston feeling like 56 highs today in the low 60s for us and we get to see those low 60s stretching all the way to Bristol County Plymouth County even down to Rhode Island but we're facing the changes throughout the weekend Friday is the pick of the week but Sunday is the pick of the weekend and we're going over Thanksgiving in the exclusive 10 day as well. All right, Tanya, thanks so much. We'll see you again. In uh, all right, Tanya, what's the latest for folks on this Thursday morning today? Guys, well, we're celebrating. We've got amazing weather today. Tomorrow, we remain rain and snow free. Most importantly, snow free, right? Uh, but we are looking at the chance of snow up in the higher elevations throughout the weekend. Not for, not for most of us, I got to say. It's mostly rain and also wind affecting us throughout the weekend. But for now, let's just enjoy the good times. The nice mild air, the above average temperatures are going to remain into tomorrow. Highs reach the 60s before we dip back into the 50s and 40s throughout the weekend and then we're off into Thanksgiving Black Friday. How about that? Black Friday I got to see is looking amazing, but Thanksgiving we're still on the edge. I'm going to show you why exactly, but let's just focus on the good times, right? The 60s we're having this afternoon. The evening hours bring temperatures dipping from the 50s to the upper 40s. The wind chill might still get to you and reach the upper 40s around that time, especially because it might be still gusting up to 15, 20 miles per hour. But hey, things are looking good. Things are looking quiet out there. No big systems right on the horizon until we get throughout the weekend. This is so nice out there. The clear skies for us continue tonight and temperatures should reach around 42 in the Boston area, which is slightly above average. Upper 30s inland, the upper 30s remain even for parts of Bristol County, Plymouth County. Tomorrow afternoon, 63 over the Boston area. Manchester, 64. We might even reach mid and upper 60s in the warmest of the spots down towards parts of the uh, uh, Metro West area. Maybe even Norwood, 64 is our expected high, but I wouldn't be surprised if we get to reach the mid and upper 60s there. Saturday, though, that's when the changes come along. We dip back to the 50s. We see rain. We see wind as well. Affected, actually, by this low pressure system I just mentioned previously it's still over Florida that's going to continue to make its way along the eastern seaboard affecting parts of Carolina spitting in some showers but the good thing is while we are expecting rain it's not going to be overwhelming it's actually remaining below half an inch possibly around a quarter of an inch off to our northwest we've got this cold front right here that's triggering showers Friday off into Pennsylvania New York but we get to see them overnight into Saturday so take a look at how they merge right here Boston may remain dry through 7 a.m. while the far southeast and the far northwest is going to experience the first round of showers and then they merge along a bit more keeping the cloudy skies for us throughout the first half of Saturday but Saturday evening, things are drying out and we get to enjoy the clear skies again. So Sunday is bright, but on the chilly side, also blustery. And we're looking at that snow up in the mountains, Vermont, New Hampshire, parts of Maine. Monday, we're dry, but also chilly. Anyway, here's the rainfall totals around half an inch at most. So lower than what we were expecting yesterday. And when you look at the exclusive 10 days, Sunday is colder. Highs in the 40s and it gets even cooler on Monday. Highs around 43. Some areas inland may stay around the upper 30s. Tuesday and Wednesday, that's when traveling for Thanksgiving off into the West, New York, Pennsylvania, you might encounter some rain, but we're hoping to dry out by Thursday. We really want to keep those hopes up, guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We'll see how the trend continues. We'll keep you updated. Especially for all those folks traveling there to Thanksgiving. All right, Tanya.